for me, the, uh, the future is about, uh, about giving back to organizations uh, for, to help them succeed in their visions and so forth, to helping the poor, to helping the homeless, to helping people in need. Is serving is what I could do, what I could build, what I could do from, I'm, from where my background, I'm growing up in the slums of Detroit to achieving achievements that I, that I have made is to be able to provide jobs, over 300 jobs, which, uh, which relate to about 1,000 people that I provided jobs and so forth, health care, uh, retirement and so forth. So serving is, is, is serving of what I did with myself to give back, to build something, to help others. And that's how I serve my community, my church, uh, my family, uh, my neighbors, my employees is by helping, by serving myself, I serve them and serve and hope that I serve well. Can one person make a difference? I think one person can make a difference. But the first thing that I, uh, that I like to preface when I'm talking to a group of young people is, is one of the first things that you learn in life is no. No, you can't. And in that word, there's one word that I like to, to, uh, to break out and that's can't. Can't is a word that we should remove from our vocabulary and drop the T. If you drop the T, you can. And you can, you can have that vision of your life because you know that you can. You can do it. Remove the T, drop the T. And always remember, put on your wall, I can, I can, I can, and you'll succeed. Of course, you know, it's easy to, um, uh, uh, to answer that you accumulate wealth, but wealth is not truly success. I think wealth is rather is short-sighted uh, in people's minds. I think it's something that, that success is, uh, to me, is the ability to truly live the life uh, that, you, uh, that you set out for yourself and to climb that ladder uh, of success that you set out for yourself. Uh, there's always bumps in the road and so forth, but success is overcoming uh, those little bumps in the road in, in moving your life forward. Receiving this, this National Caring Award has been a, uh, uh, has given me uh, a recognition that maybe I don't deserve. Because as I say, I, my whole life has been, been run by, uh, that I've always had around me, my flock of angels that have actually guided me throughout life. And whenever you look at it, you, uh, you look at your life and you say, you, you have done a lot of things, you have been successful, and so forth. But at the same time, there's people out there that are more deserving, uh, more forthright in what they've done for the community, what they've done for their church, what they've done for their family. Uh, it's a great honor. I was, uh, I was shocked. I'm very humbled by it. And I can't thank you enough. <laughs>